Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome back to our new player guide series. Apologies for the delay on yesterday's video. Uh, apparently, I had uploaded a highlight reel rather than the actual uh, video clip that was intended, so I had to uh, take that one down and uh, re upload it uh, later in the day after I got home from work. Um, pulling a flimsy, I do stuff like that from time to time, so <laughs> it's to be expected, but. That aside, today I wanted to talk about the special upgrades and customizations in the armory. Um, I kind of had a comment recently on that that kind of spurred the thought process that um, when I looked at the YouTube channel and I looked at videos I'd done, I didn't see one that I had covered specifically just on the um, these special upgrades uh, alone. So I thought we would go through um, one by one and talk a little bit about them. So um, these special upgrades um, bolster certain consumables um, of your ship uh, further than what they do stock standard at the cost of um, having to go in one of your upgrade slots. So like this says available upgrade slot two. This one is available in slot three for the smoke generator. Um, damage control party slot one um, so this depends I think in general it's between slots one and three but we'll go through each of them um, and you can see um, one of the changes Wargaming recently had um, is like actually giving you a number of how many total you have uh, as a whole so you can see that I pretty much only really invest in the surveillance radar modification one acoustic search modification one and the engine boost modification one but uh, we can dive into some of these others um, and where they might make sense on some different ships and uh, classes uh, in the game. So, uh, first off, let's just talk about um, the cost of these. So they sell these for coal, uh, which if you do not use a coupon, it's 17,000 coal. But if you are able to use a coupon, it would cut the price down to 12,750 coal. So you're saving 25%. Um, and these coupons specifically, um, they reset uh, once a month, um, as you can see along with uh, the rest of the majority of these except these uh, ship coupons. So every uh, month you or every update cycle, if you will, um, you will get a reset um, on your special upgrades and you can use coupon again. So when you buy these, I really do recommend utilizing the coupon because it um, is going to help you save coal. So, you know, you can accumulate a lot like, wow, I'm actually 222,000 even coal right now. So I always try to make use of this coupon uh, each month. And as a very beginner new player, you might have not have a lot of coal. Um, so you maybe you want to hang on to this and use it, uh, these coupons and purchase these upgrades just with certain sh ships. Um, but let's say you've been playing for a bit um, and now you're ready to start investing. The surveillance radar modification is a really, really good um, consumable to have. So what it does is, is that it extends the action time of your surveillance radar by 20%. So I run this on my Moskva, my Wooster, uh, Stalingrad, uh, Des Moines, um, yeah, different uh, radar cruiser ships within the game. Um, I think I even have this equipped on Ragnar. Well, we can actually just take a look here real quick. I can just slide over. Because um, Ragnar has a, yes, I do indeed. Um, it's part of my competitive build. Um, so it extends your action time of your radar uh, consumable. So um, basically action time, 36 seconds. If I took 20% off, um, that's gonna be, uh, I guess around closer to 30 seconds, maybe under 30 seconds. So. Having that additional radar time, um, you know, something like uh, I need to go down to uh, Des Moines or Salem. I also run it on Salem. And then I'm getting 48 seconds uh, use uh, out of the radar. So if I throw Halsey back on uh, 42 seconds, um, and then you can actually even extend your radar a little longer with consumables enhancements if you wanted to. Um, but that's just really good. Um, I don't really, I run it on Ragnar, but I don't really run it on like the Pan-Asian DDs. Uh, mostly the cruisers that have that longer lasting uh, radar um, is where I'll run this on. So it's a good one when um, the ship calls for it. 
Your hide acoustic search, um, I have 11 of these. These work very well on your hydro-based ships. Um, another thing I haven't mentioned is that I really only try to use these uh, special upgrades um, because they cost the amount of coal that they do on ships that I regularly play. So Hydro Acoustic Search Modification 1 extends your hydro time by 20%. So I run this on uh, Friesland. Um, I think I have it on Schlieffen, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe your hydro cruisers, your battleships, your destroyers. Like I'd probably run this maybe like on Z52. Um, so your, the sh type of ships I feel like I'm gonna play regularly is what I put the special upgrades on. Um, but then having that additional hydroacoustic search time. So let's say uh, I go to Friesland. And I'll go to Friesland and I won't actually have it mounted for some reason. That'll be funny. Um, no, I do. So then I have a 120 second action time on there. And I think, yeah, I can even pair um, one of the combat signals. So then I'm 132 seconds. So I have over two minutes of hydro. Um, I definitely, definitely run this on uh, Daring. Uh, you could even run it on uh, Jutland um, because you can get um, almost up to, I think it's four minutes of continuous hydroacoustic search because it's the short range hydroacoustic search. So there's gonna be different ships in the game. You can get a lot of use out of having that additional hydro uh, acoustic search time. It's really great consumable. The defensive AA fire consumable, you can see I actually don't have any. Um, if AA did something more in the game, then maybe I would actually consider running the special upgrade. This would go on your slot too. Um, and it's equipped with a defensive AA fire consumable. So your ship has to have defensive AA fire. So like um, Salem, uh, Wooster, um, a ship that already has uh, this, uh, it could even be Thunderer. Um, so then you're getting additional 20% uh, the action time, and then you have a quicker cooldown. One of the main reasons why I don't really run the defensive AA fire modification one so much is that most carriers, even if you pop the defensive AA, are only gonna get two strikes off. Um, if you have poor A, with, even with having defensive AA, um, it might even be uh, like the NAC, the Russian CVs, right? They revolve around one strike. So you could invest in this uh, modification, this special upgrade, but you're activating it and you're investing in it for a Russian CV that's going to drop you in one strike. So. Um, Maybe this makes more sense if you're running like a CV div and you're in a Wooster um, or you're just purposely going out to planes, but otherwise the other upgrades that you tend to get in slot two um, are much better just because you won't get a lot of mileage out of this in, in my experience. That's why I, I don't run any. Um, this one I've actually been looking at more lately, the damage control party modification one. I'm looking at particularly running this on the Russian battleships. Um, and I think also I've been thinking about Atlantico running this on. So this would go on your first slot and it increases the action time of your damage control party and fast damage control team consumable. So plus 40%, so it's not the, the 20%. So, um, so if I backed out and let's say I look at uh, my Russian battleship, I look at the Russian uh, Vladivostok. Um, you have these fast damage control teams, and so action time, 10 seconds. So if I equipped that in the first slot, uh, upgrade slot, that means I'd get a 40% boost, so then 40 sec uh, sorry, 40 seconds, uh, 14 seconds uh, consumable action time beyond just the 10 seconds. Um, and then you can see right now that this consumable comes off uh, with the, uh, with that. I can, I can build it where I can get it back in 36.5 seconds um, because these have a fast cooldown time, um, but the action time of the consumable is much shorter than uh, a normal battleship. So let's say something like Vermont um, with the build that I have right now, it's 22 seconds of the action time. Um, or maybe let's say Montana, is that gonna be roughly the same? Yeah, 22 seconds. Um, so you could, for example, uh, I think something like Atlantico, uh, I have to remember, that was a dockyard ship, tier eight, um, and it had 20 seconds, uh, kind of a secondary battleship. So part of my thinking was, you know, if you're this brawling 
battleship get, or tank battleship like the Russian battleships, um, you know, 20 seconds um, becomes much more. So I'm going to use my uh, calculator to make sure that I do the math right. So I could bo boost this up to 28 seconds or for like what we were looking at with um, Montana. Uh, means I could boost it up to 30 seconds um, consumable action times. That's a really long lasting damage control party um, But it means you give up something like the main armaments modification one um, Risk of main battery coming incapacitated um, and your main battery survivability um, But with the Russian battleships, so let's say for example, let me drop down to the tier 8 one I just try to give you a practical example and then we'll go on to the next one um, if I look at the armor layout uh, you can see 4 and 6 millimeter on the front, 249 on the side, 178 on top, and 300 millimeter on the back. Now, if I switch over to something like the Vladivostok, um, go to here, we go to armor layout. Uh, you can see that uh, these are actually pretty tanky on the front. They're square, but 4 and 25 millimeter, uh, 280, 270, um, 360 on the back. So the Russian main battery guns are known to be more tanky. They can take a bit more punishment than say something like an American or maybe even a German battleship uh, to an extent. So then you can actually maybe make some good use of them. Um, if I went to Lenin, uh, premium uh, Russian battleship, um, 425, 280, 270. So it's kind of the same thing happening. So, um, so you're just building into a longer lasting um, damage control team so then you can play that role of the tank more and it takes longer before a person can set another fire on you so that's kind of um the draw towards this damage control party modification one that i do want to start running and testing on the russian battleships um just from my understanding of the consumable um that's uh, upgrade that's where it tends to get a lot of use Death spotting aircraft modification one, um, consumable action time plus 30% increases the action time of the spotting aircraft and rapid takeoff spotter consumables. Um, so then you're getting a longer lasting time of your spotting aircraft. So for myself, I could see maybe this would make sense something like Yamato, your sniping battleship. You have pretty decent good range already, but maybe you want to be able to have it longer. Um, maybe it's a competitive and you want to have more of that reach across the map to get a um, broadside shot on an unsuspecting cruiser and so you want the longer action time of your spotting aircraft. And I don't actually remember off the top of my head, we're going to hop into text you real quick, if the Zao, uh, does the Zao actually get a uh, spotting aircraft? Yeah, you do. So Zal's kind of known for having poor range <laughs> on the artillery. Uh, you start off with 16.2. Now tier 10, that can be a little bit more punishment. So uh, having that additional range. So then maybe something like uh, for Zal, that makes more sense uh, running the uh, spotting aircraft on. Um, but typically it just depends. Um, I haven't found myself ever lacking and wishing I had longer spotting aircraft. Um, so it can just fare on for you as a player. So that's the draw to that one. This other one, the smoke generator modification one, um, increases the action time of the smoke generator, short burst smoke generator, and crawling smoke generator consumables, but it reduces the smoke screen duration. The effects are not applicable to the exhaust smoke generator consumable. Uh, so the consumable action time is plus 30%. This goes into slot three. Uh, smoke screen dispersion time, negative 5%. So, um, you could take this to draw a longer smoke screen. So if you're going, uh, like say the American destroyers or the Pan-Asian uh, destroyers, they have a uh, longer uh, action time. So like roughly 30 seconds. So you can draw out a longer smoke screen. So if I, again, make sure I do the math correctly here, you could go from a 30 second action time on a smoke screen to a 39 second. Uh, action time on your smoke screen and there's some um, interesting things that you can actually pair this with so you can have a 39 second action time and if I went uh, to the Japanese destroyer Hurugamo as an example and I went to its equipment and see that was slot 3 if I remember correctly yes um, 
you have a unique upgrade for additional smoke generators. Smoke screen dispersion time plus 30% and plus 100% on uh, the action time. Uh, so you could have a 39 second, um, let's see, what's the action time right now? Uh, 20 second action time. So this stacked on top alone means we're getting 40 seconds. And then we stacked on this guy in slot three. Um, you can add another 12 seconds. So you'd have a 52 second action time on your smoke generator. So that's a very long smoke screen uh, you can pull out. Uh, like I said, with the American destroyers, um, they're known for having a long action time um, and smoke screen dispersion time. You can see with Kid, it's uh, over two minutes with action time of 30 seconds. Uh, the other ship that might be fun to run that on, as an example, would be Mr. Uh, Minotaur, one of my, skipping it, uh, microphones in the way, uh, one of my favorite uh, light cruisers in the game. Uh, or here you can see it's the again another unique upgrade aerosol smoke screen a uh, smoke curtain system um, action time 150 percent um, so that's a very crazy uh, long time but you have a smoke screen dispersion of negative 15 percent so you can take quite the hit there so then you have to give up radar uh, we can see smoke screen uh, consumable action time 16.5 uh, percent or 16.5 seconds, excuse me. So then if I did the math, then that boosts me up to 24.75 seconds. Um, and then I whoops, stack on in the slot three, um, da, 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 seven, five times 0 0.3. That's adding another seven seconds on. And I'm actually, I didn't do the math right, uh, 16. Uh, I was never good in math in school. Uh, 16 <laughs> plus 16 uh, plus the uh, 8 seconds. So, yeah, so it should be 40 seconds, and then you add. If, I did, if I'm doing this right, I really hope I am. Um, 40, 12, you have 52 seconds smoke screen action time uh, with Minotaur. Um, so if you're going for those fun smoke builds, you want to draw along a smoke screen for your team or your division mates, you can have a lot of fun with that. Um, that might make sense. Maybe even something like, um, da, 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 da. let's see here, ships. Let's look at Vampire 2, show and port. Can I see the, because you have a um, smoke screen, I think, was it crawling smoke screen on Vampire? Um, shoot, I can't see the equipment. I thought I could see equipment. Yeah, crawling smoke screen generator. So then you can increase the action time of that uh, in your slot three as an example. So there's some different chips that you can build that on that makes sense. And last but not least is the engine boost modification one. I currently have six of these. I actually felt like I should have more of these. Um, these are just really good to have in general. Um, increases the action time of the engine boost and emergency engine power consumable, consumable action time plus 30%. Um, so there's certain destroyers in the game I definitely run this on. Um, destroyers that have access to the engine boost uh, or engine emergency engine power consumable. Um, I run this on Colbert. And you have a longer, uh, you can build some ships up to where how you have like a um, almost four minutes of uh, engine boost action time. So if I actually, if I scroll over to Colbert, I think Colbert is close to four minutes, if I'm not mistaken, because um, you can see I have it here in the slot two. Uh, yeah, two and 34 seconds. Um, so it would be uh, two minutes or four minutes, excuse me, if it was 240 seconds. Uh, so some ships, it really makes sense running this on. I would say even Marceau would benefit from it. Yeah, I have it on Marceau. Um, some American DDs I'll run this on. You could probably even run it on something like Borgon. Okay, yeah, I do. Uh, so then I have um, almost four minutes of engine boost with a battleship that's crazy good and fast. Um, so you can see the, the French ones uh, make a lot of sense to actually equip this uh, special upgrade on. So that's the type of, uh, or um, sorry, let's also, let me give you uh, another example of, you know, maybe it's gearing you want to run it on. Uh, I don't think I actually run it on gearing. No, I don't. Uh, but I could um, and have a longer engine boost time uh, so I can 
added on in addition to that 120 seconds. Um, so there, it's there's some benefits. It helps you get you across the map quicker. Maybe you're juking. You can juke more easily when you have the engine boost uh, going uh, with your ship. So that's kind of a, a summary of the special upgrades and what you might find use for them for. Um, I do only recommend really investing in these on ships that you play a lot. You know, so I'm going to be taking this Avengers Air modification because I play Des Moines, I play Salem, I play Moscow, I play Salem, got a lot. Um, I, pl I love playing Bourgogne, uh, the Marceau, so I definitely get my worth out of that. Um, you know, my Schlieffen, my Poison, uh, my Daring, um, you know, Rooster could even possibly you could use this on. Um, yeah, so there's this, there's good options, good opportunities there, but I really need to start uh, challenging myself to try these um, other special upgrades out. I just, uh, I don't really, I think of all these defensive AA fire is probably the worst one you can pick just because it doesn't really feel like AA does much in the game and you're only extending your action time and by the time you'd get full use out of this, the CV's planes would already be gone and he'd be halfway sending the next strike, so... So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So if you appreciate this video, let me know in the comments if you have questions. Uh, so if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.